Let's just say that the economical situation of Pridnestrovia is probably just not the best in Europe. Znaczy to was Pridnestrovsky passport? Landscape that couldn't be any more communistic. Мы все любим друг друга и уважаем. Хотим, чтобы было мирно у нас. To all geographic nerds of the entire world, so far on this channel we have tried to visit some of the most interesting places from a geographical point of view. We've seen frozen rivers, cosmic deserts, hot border areas and we have even visited the coldest inhabited places on record. However, what we've failed to explore so far is one thing that every geography channel should have in its arsenal. I'm talking about disputed territories and partially recognized republics. The fact that I was yet to visit a de facto independent territory whose sovereignty is disputed was bringing shame to my name and my ancestors. So I decided to go and fix that. And I decided to pick the one that is closest to home since it is said to be the most accessible but it also happens to be the one that is in the hottest situation that is because the unrecognized separatist republic of transnistria like many other self-proclaimed countries has been in a state of frozen conflict for many many years after he broke off from the country that he belongs to de jure moldova in 1992 the recent events in neighboring ukraine have increased the tension in the area so that made me even more to see what life is like in this small pocket of land sandwiched between Chisinau and Odessa. Good morning from the partially unrecognized country that is known with the Romanian name of Transnistria. But we're not gonna be using that name today because that name, just because it's Romanian, is somewhat offensive to the mostly Russian-speaking population of the country. So today, what we're gonna be doing is just traveling around rural Prinistrovie. The problem that I've got with Prinistrovie is that literally everyone and their mother on YouTube has been here. Just Tiraspol and Prinistrovia have just become so freaking mainstream. So today I don't want to become one of the millions of people who have filmed the Soviet science and memorabilia all over the capital Tiraspol, but today I want to be heading to rural Prinistrovie, going all the way to the very north of the country in a place called Ribnica. Стали чем здесь? Красивее? Наверное. Где-то да, где-то нет. Что-то лучше там, что-то лучше здесь. Зависит. Okay guys, so apparently finding a taxi at 7 in the morning in Tiraspol in Prinistrovia is not the easiest thing. <laughs> so I asked a random guy. He actually offered to help me out finding a taxi here in Tiraspol. А ты за рубежом бил? За рубежом? А нет. Нет? Только в Прынистровье? Да. А в Молдавии? Вокзал, хорошо? Вокзал. Да. Садись. Да, хорошо. Давай быстрее, быстрее, бля, люди стоят, ждут. Я думал, ну это, это же Европа, да? Но это как похоже на Россию, да? Это не Европа, это Россия. Этот город основал Суворов, полководец Российской империи. А, вы считаете, что это не Европа, а Россия, это да? Россия. Ага, окей. So thankfully I was able to find a taxi in the end to the railway station of Tiraspol which doubles as a bus station and I think the journey was 22 rubles which is approximately 1 euro and 10 cents or something like that and although I did say that this railway station doubles as a bus station that's actually incorrect because there are no more trains traveling through Tiraspol since 2019 I think so you can see this used to be the building of the station it says there Gara which is station in Moldavian Moldovan slash Romanian and there you've got Vaxal, which is obviously the name for station in Russian. And if you can see here, the door is still open. However, I'm not really sure what we are actually going to be able to find in here. 
The main hall of the railway station building is still accessible and its condition is still very much pristine but it's completely empty as you guys can see. So at some point in time you had all these trains originating from Chisinau and going to other places in the former Soviet Union. So you had one train going from Kishinev all the way to Moscow, the very top one. You had a train going from Kishinev to Murmansk in the Arctic Circle. Just imagine how insane that is. You had a train going from Varna in freaking Bulgaria all the way to Saratov in the middle of Russia, passing through Moldova, passing through Prinistrovia, and passing through Tiraspol. And you can say that in this column, next to all these trains, it says Atminion, which is basically Russian for cancelled. You guys can see here, here it says, from the 25th of February 2022, the route between Odessa and Chisinau and back to Odessa has been suspended temporarily. I feel like this is very historic. You know one of those stories where you've got an earthquake striking a town and then you can see these pictures where you've got clocks stopping at the same moment that the earthquake strikes and then they remain stuck forever? This is literally the sensation that I've got looking at this piece of paper right here. Now this building is almost completely abandoned bar one single room that you can enter through over there through that door and it says there Casa which is obviously where we can find the ticket shop in order to buy ourselves a ticket to rural Prinistrovia. Здравствуйте, когда ближайший до в сторону Рибницу Григориополь, наверное. Можно 840, пожалуйста. На 840 Будет Тирасполь Гармадская. Окей. Okay. Uh, отсюда отправляю. Окей, okay, замечательно. Спасибо вам большое. So Ribnitsa is somewhat three hours away from Tiraspol and there's just no way in hell that I'm going to spend three hours continuously on a marshutka of this kind. So I think I'm actually going to break the journey. I've got a ticket to the town of Grigaryopol, which they were telling me that it's somewhat, I don't know, 30 minutes away from Tiraspol and the boss is actually leaving in 10 minutes or so. So what I definitely do have time for is a coffee from this place right here, a typical coffee place next to railway stations all over places like this. cappuccino? Добрый день. А скажите, это наш, да? Да, да, сюда. Окей. Григорьопа сюда, да. Да, уже уезжаем? Не, еще пять минут еще. Ready, so let our journey begin to the most remote parts of the unrecognized Republic of Prinistrovia. Look at our machine that is going to take us all the way into deep Prinistrovia. And obviously the number plates are Prinistrovian. You've got the Prinistrovia. Oh, I freaking can't say Prinistrovia. Pridniestrovian, look at that, you've got the Pridniestrovian flag right over there. This has to be one of the weirdest marshutkas I've ever been on. It's like everything is so dark here in the in the salon, in the in the interior of this marshutka. Look at this, just because you guys can see this sort of dark tinted windows and I've just sat at the at the back of the marshutka just because I've got this light here so it's a bit bare and then from here I don't know if you guys can hear it but you've got the radio playing with some music and some I don't know radio hosts so we even get to listen to some Prinistrovian radio here today on this marshutka 30 minutes to the first town what's the name of it Grigariopol yeah that's where we're headed to Машины не смогут проехать от переулка Чкалова до входа на зеленый рынок. On the back of every single seat on this marshutka it says here do you want to work abroad? Let's just say that the economical situation of Prinistrovia is probably just not the best in Europe. So what usually happens is that the youth of Prinistrovia always wants to go and work in Moldova, Romania and in other European Union countries. And that's why you've got advertisements like this really all over the country. It says here, however, if you want to work abroad, just make sure that you don't end up in jail. You've got some handcuffs here and You've got this office right here, which is offering advice 
on rules of emigration and immigration into European Union countries. So welcome to Grigariopol. If you're curious as to what we are going to see in Grigariopol, well, I have no freaking clue. <laughs> the only thing that I do know is that the Marsutka dropped us off at the very bus stop over there, right in front of a landscape that couldn't be any more communistic. Because look at this, we're right here on Ulitsa Karla Marxa, obviously Karl Marx, and on Ulitsa Karla Marxa you've got this shop, which is called Havana, you've got the Cuban flag, you've got Che Guevara, and right next to it you've got a mural dating back to the Soviet times. And right by the shop here, you've got, look at this, you've got a Volga, you've got the typical business car, the luxury car of the times of the Soviet Union. Dang, it's absolutely freezing. I don't understand why it's at least five degrees colder than what it was in Tiraspol. Oh my God, I think we're going below zero. But anyway, we're here on the main square of Grigariopol. All you've got is the Prinistrovian flag right here with the giant hammer and sickle on the, on the top left. Well, I can't really endorse it, but I don't know. I have no idea what's there to see. I have no idea what's there to see here in Grigariopol, so I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe asking some people, there must be a World War II memorial, or maybe, just because we're here in Prinistrovie, what we might see is not a memorial to World War II, but we might find a memorial to the independence war that was fought between Moldova and Prinistrovie some 30 years ago. Look at that, you've got a banner of the soldiers of Prinistrovie parading on September 2nd. That's when the people of Prinistrovia have got their independence day. А вы откуда? Я из Италии. И что делаете? Катим в Рибницу. Ага. А, здравствуйте. Кто? А вы из вы отсюда? Вы да, говорите, да, да. Русский, украинский, молдавский? Не, молдавский, украинский. Но здесь много как кровь ну, разных. Нет, да? такие все разные национальности. Да, да. Разные. А сколько у вас паспортов? Я знаю, что у людей здесь очень много. Есть. Три. Три. Молдавские, да. Приднестровские, русские. русские. А, русский. русский. Украинский. Можно и украинский, можно А, любой. вы можете получить да украинский? Нет, да. Сейчас, в данный момент, не, никто а. не делает. А, потому а, что сейчас, это. если делаешь паспорт, туда воевать. Так что, Мэрю Пасаре, спасибо вам большое. Давайте, а. смотрите, только не теряйтесь. Обязательно нет. До свидания. And just as if this place couldn't get any more communist, you've got a statue of a silver Lenin shaking hands with an invisible man. Right here, you can see Vladimir Ilyich Lenin, born in 1870 and died in 1924. You've even got people, you see, laying down flowers by the feet of Vladimir Lenin. It looks like 99 years later, 99 years after the death of Vladimir Lenin, his memory, here in Prinistrovie, is even more alive than it could ever be. А можно вопрос, пожалуйста? Я читал на интернете, что в вашем городе должно быть мемориал э, полицейскими. Нету. А потом вот с этой стороны есть какая-то могила, да, мемориальный, как ты говоришь, военный. Может быть. Да, да, просто изучали русские в университете. Но мы все одинаковые, да? А вы русские, украинцы? Я молдаванка. Молдаванка. И русская, и молдаванка, и украинка. Тут и русские, и молдаванка. У нас вместе. Моя бабушка была чистая, и дедушка украинская. Мать молдаванка, отец украинцы. I just had a lovely chat with the lovely бабушкас of lovely Grigariopol. It's funny, because I was asking them if they know where this memorial is that I could see on the internet and they had no idea but I think they told me to actually try down this road and maybe I can find something that could be of interest to me but Привет! <laughs> Красавчик! But I don't really know So this is the monument that I wanted to see here in Grigariopol, the number two attraction, <laughs> the number two landmark of the town, of the small town in rural Pridnistrovia. It's pretty much a monument to the policemen of Grigariopol who lost their lives first during the Pridnistrovian war 
of 1992 and just generally the policemen who lost their lives while practicing their duty basically while in service and you've got one two three and four people here and you've got flowers still being light down every once in a while and with this I think we might have very well concluded our visit <laughs> to Grigariopol. The very last thing that I want to do before leaving this town is actually go and grab myself a bottle of water because I need to drink. Alright, so there's this shop here, Producte. It looks very promising. But before I actually go in there, I found a coffee machine right here. Apparently it's working. I'm not quite sure how it works. I think I can put some banknotes in here. I don't know. Let's actually get themselves the second coffee of the day. How about that? Ha, it's funny. This coffee machine is actually Italian. Let me see if I can show you. It says that zucchero and inserire. Let's do sugar three and four. Let's put the rubles. Не работает? Не, не, здесь написано, uh, я нажму капучино. Да, сначала рубль, деньги. Окей, okay, а потом а нажму. Потом уже, да. А, окей, okay, спасибо вам большое. Вот сахар. Да. Да, да, А, даже на итальянском написано. Да. <laughs> Поэтому все. Спасибо вам большое. Actually needed some help with Primestrovian coffee machines. That's funny. I think this coffee is actually decent. Да, а снег будет, думаете? Да. да, сегодня даже? Сегодня нет, но в ближайшие дни по, по компьютеру показывают, что будет похолодание. Ага. У нас молдавская зима непредсказуемая. Понимаю. Вот сегодня тепло, завтра будет холодно. Ага. Но зато люди всегда теплее, да, даже если когда холодно на улице, да? Мы так... все любим друг друга и уважаем, и хотим, да. чтобы было мирно у нас. Вот да, ну все, все так главное. желаем. Grigariopol, thanks for having me, but let's actually jump on a taxi to Ribnica now. Alright, so now let's go and pay a visit to the taxi mafia of this place. Yeah. Ribnica. All right, so after a brief conversation with the taxi gang there in Grigariopol, I was thinking that Ribnica is still an hour away, so I was thinking that we can actually stop in Dubasare, which is this town, sort of halfway through. So we're actually going there, and it's actually going to be cheaper going there by taxi rather than going all the way to Ribnica, if you know what I mean. And it's not like it's gonna make any ounce of difference to you, because obviously you've never heard of these places anyway, right? Интересно, я думаю, я никогда не был ну, в такой стране, где ну, признана, но не признана. Да, да, как Абхазия, Южная Осетия и так далее. Мне просто да, интересно. Вы, например, у вас какая национальность? Молдова. Понял. Значит, у вас Приднестровский паспорт. Молдавский и У вас два, да? И молдавский, и российский. А, и русский тоже. Alrighty, so we have just made it to Dubasare. Again, another town in the Ribnica. I don't think we're in the Ribnica Oblast anyway. I have no idea where we are. And I have no idea what is there to see in Dubasare. But I mean, we'll find a way. We did have a good time in Grigariopol anyway. So let's see what we can find here. <laughs> I swear to God, these little towns in Prinistrovia are all the same. You've got the administration building there with the flags of Russia, Pristrovia, the district, the flag of the district of wherever place you're in. And then you've got these sort of, I don't know what you call them, boards right there. Oh, this one is actually interesting because you've got some panels with the history of the town. I mean, I don't know, it's all in Russian. I ain't reading that. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> and here you've got the most important people of the town of Dubasare. Mm -hmm. 
А подскажите, у вас и столовая есть в вашем городе? Есть. Столовая. Есть. А знаете, можете подсказать, где могу найти самобыстро? Вот вы пройдете, okay. и слева будет там вот э, столовая. Окей, okay, да. Ну, пройдите сюда, Попробую. если Попробую, да. Не закрыто, но тут mm -hmm. есть. Бар, как говорят. Oh, 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 вот, oh, вот туда. <laughs> Спасибо, до свидания. Whenever you're lost in life, this is what you need. All you need is a babushka giving you directions to the nearest stalovaya. Well, this is no stupid stalovaya. This is a freaking restaurant. And from the looks of it, it looks superbly expensive for a town of this kind. What the heck? <laughs> it says there, Nistru. I never thought I would find a restaurant with freaking Greek columns in a town in the middle of Primistrovie. But I think I've got no other choice because I'm absolutely starving and I'm absolutely freezing. So I need to find a place where I can eat and find some shelter from the cold. So where the hell did I end up? There's no one here. Oh, looks like a wedding celebration room or something. But this place, what the heck, there's literally no one. I can hear some people now. Здравствуйте. А где начальник? А вы уже пришли кушать, да? Да, думаем, да. У вас меню или как? Не на заказ. Постоянно, окей. Okay. Постоянное меню? Да. Okay. <laughs> so this place is just so terribly weird. Apparently I ended up at a wedding reception room and I think actually later today a wedding reception is scheduled because there you go you've got a long ass table over there and they put me right here in the corner there's a fixed menu like 10 euros which is super expensive she said 160 transnistrian rubles so for the moment I've got a salyanka a typical Russian soup with some bread and I think something else is supposed to come later on but for the moment I've got this um, and yeah. Oh, and just now I was brought some pasta with chicken along with my salyanka. Wow, this is probably one of the weirdest places that I've ever eaten at. <laughs> that place was like a hundred percent run by <laughs> some sort of mafia gang here in Tuvasare. Literally nobody was there and surely the scene was getting prepared for some sort of oligarch's daughter to have their wedding there? I don't know. Dang, you guys want to get some driving classes here in Dubasare? That's how you do it. Ребята, знаете, где Ленин у вас стоит? Вот дальше. Зайдете до парка и вниз. Тук. Получается, смотрите, вот видите елку? Да. Чуть дальше проходите за елку. Okay. И вниз спускаете, спускаетесь, увидите его. Окей, okay. замечательно. Спасибо. I think that's the very last thing that I want to do here in Dubasare. Say hello to the local Lenin and then I can f*** off. <laughs> All the way to Rivnica. And here's the second Lenin of the day. And here's the second silver Lenin of the day. Surely there's gonna be a third Lenin in Ribnica as well. And I imagine at this point, we might as well wrap up our video from there. But the craziest thing is that I really cannot understand how and why people can actually leave flowers on a Lenin statue like this. It doesn't even happen in Russia, but for some reason it happens here in rural Prinistrovia. That's crazy. And by the way, on the back of this Lenin, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's basically a music school. And on the top of that very music school, you've got the logo or the coat of arms of the Socialist Soviet Republic of Moldova, which now is obviously the coat of arms of the Prinistrovian Socialist Republic. The temperature is getting a bit warmer now and it's such a lovely afternoon to be walking around the lovely residential blocks of this town. Well done, Dubasari. You're giving me the feels.
but I'm now heading to the bus station to make my way to the final stop of the journey which is Ribnica. I think I'd like to catch a bus however I just need to take a look at the timetable because if it's like the next bus departs in like 45 minutes from here there's no way that I'm gonna be able to get to Ribnica before sunset so I might need to splurge some more money for a taxi instead. Right now, looks like we have made it to the bus station of Dubasari. That it says Avtastancia. Let's ask some people and let's actually see what Verwin is better in terms of time and money between the Marshutka and the taxi. I can see the taxis standing over there. So let's just see. Добрый день. А не подскажете, когда ближайшее до Рибницы? Через час. О боже. А сколько ехать? Час. Значит, мы там 4.30, да? Поздно, да? А, хорошо, узнаю такси тогда. Спасибо вам большое. Окей, okay, so it's not ideal. Apparently, the next bus to Рибница leaves in like an hour, and then it takes an hour to get there. And I think we're gonna arrive there at like after four o'clock which means that we will be pitch black at this time of the year right so i am going indeed on a taxi with this nice mercedes look at this euros is not actually that much for a trip that is going to take just over an hour so let's see how it goes and in the meanwhile I'll be able to enjoy the back roads of Prindistrovia just as if I didn't have enough chance to do that today okie dokie so not long ago we've entered the rayon of Ribnica, Ribnitsky Rayon, and what you can see here is that the landscape has started to get a little bit more winter-like as you can already see some snow on the side of the road both on that side and on this side as well Значит, надо в Кишинев, в Румню, да, в да. Польшу, в Белоруссию, а потом в Россию, наверное. Да. Вау. Да, you go. The good old Soviet signs. We're entering Рибница. Спасибо, до свидания. Three Lenins in one day is probably too much, even for me. Come on, this is getting pathetic. This is getting absolutely pathetic. We've seen a full silver Lenin. We've seen half a silver Lenin in the second town, which was Dubasare. And now here in Ribnica, one of the, I think this is actually the second largest city in the whole of Prinestrovia. And here you've got, you've got quite a big Lenin wearing a hat. You don't see many versions of Lenin wearing a hat. So this is like quite rare. It's also getting colder again and it's like 3.36. You guys can see the clock there. So you guys know that I'm not, that I'm not bullshitting you. It's already freezing. The sun is just about to set. Brr. There is some good old Soviet art here. It looks like one of those pictures and images that I would have in my, in my church book when I used to go to church school. I would have something like that of the apostles of Jesus doing something with him. Even here in the middle you've got Jesus himself. Wow. A Prinistrovian Jesus. I don't think I've ever seen a Prinistrovian Jesus.
and it's dark and it's cold and it's freezing and I'm in Ribnica, a place where I've never been to before with no plan in sight, with no idea what to do with no hotel booked or anything but I'm sure I'll figure it out so guys thanks ever so much for joining on this trip across off the beaten path Prinistrovia and I'll see you sometime else from somewhere else bye